Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. My name is Ali al Sayer, Vice President of Internal Communication and Employee Engagement with EDNOC. This interview is part of the virtual Majlis series brought to you by EDNOC Insights in support of volunteers.ae. The role of R&D during the time of COVID is the theme of my conversation with Her Excellency Sara Al-Amiri, Minister of State for Advanced Science in the United Arab Emirates. Your Excellency, thank you very much for joining me for this virtual conversation. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure being here with you. Your Excellency, as the world has been hit by COVID-19 and the global population placed under tremendous threat, the role of research and development took center stage, not only in the light of the vaccine discovery, but also in terms of identifying strategies in the increasing global resilience in the face of the unprecedented battles that we're facing. So first of all, would you please share with us your thoughts on the role that R&D has in the current climate? not only in the UAE, but as well in the global uh, landscape. The COVID-19 situation has put at the forefront the importance of research and development and scientific outcomes that merge together with practitioners in the healthcare field. We've seen scientists and researchers work with doctors to ensure that research outcomes and research findings about this novel virus and also about the disease that it causes reaches to pub to, it reaches to creating the right protocols, and also better understanding the virus's evolution, to see how it impacts people's lives, and more importantly, speaking about vaccines, how do we ensure that this does not continuously, uh, continuously spread and ensure that we curb this in the correct manner? We saw the advent of science and technology into public policy, and that is one of the underlying requirements of the scientific process and ensuring that scientific outcomes are correctly vetted and quickly and rapidly translated into implementations, but without compromising the scientific process or the scientific method. I mean, Your Excellency, you mentioned this notion of priorities during this time, and I would like you to kind of shed light on those priorities with regards to the UAE, specifically when it comes to R&D. What are those priorities in, in the current unprecedented crisis? So when it came to healthcare, the UAE has a large prevalence of non-communicable diseases, be it part in the cardiovascular system or when it comes to diabetes. And that has been a large priority for most of the research for the, for the country. And a lot of the researchers and research spending is happening in that area. And we know that because our Ministry of Health is called Ministry of Health and Prevention. And a lot of it is focused in this, er in, in this area of research. What we found out from this disease is that it's very important for us to also focus on epidemiology, especially when it comes to evolution of new viruses that leave the animal kingdom and transfer into humans. And that, as we've seen over the last two decades, has created large impacts, perhaps in smaller, po uh, in smaller pockets. Uh, but with this pandemic, it shows the large impact that it could have on both our healthcare systems and also on our economies. And that has now become a priority area for the UAE when it comes to research. It's not to focus on one area because you have an issue for it today and therefore need a solution for it today. It is to ensure that it is broad enough that you're also focusing on core scientific areas and core expertise to be existent within the country, whether or not it fits into your priority areas. And, and it is, positive that the UAE did have experts in these areas that existed within their institutions, although they, they weren't within the research priorities. And this shows that the science and technology ecosystem within the UAE is set up for longevity and set up for sustainability. The way that we're looking at it from a policy perspective and research direction perspective is re-looking at every sector within the UAE that we've set as research priorities and ensured that we're not only driving talent to be delivered, developed in the areas that we deem as priority areas, but also to ensure that talent exists in areas that could be secondary priorities or they're a matter of interest that you need to have this expertise existence within the country to ensure that you have a more holistic view over science and technology. Science comes from two ways. They come based on a need, and you then put on discoveries and development to address particular needs and particular challenges. It comes due to opportunities that allows us to have a better competitive advantage as a country. And there's a third factor. It comes to those sudden um, 
findings that basic science and blue ocean science allows us to have. And that's an area that needs to be focused on uh, continuously from a global perspective, because that's where you get new knowledge that you never would have thought existed and can't base um, can't base real policies and real outcomes because they're not discovered yet. Thank you, Your Excellency. Stay tuned on the virtual majlis for the second part of this interview.